Hi, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. So now we are in chapter 5, which is hydrocarbon, focusing on the subtopic of 5.1 alkanes part 3 of the video. So in this video, we're going to explain the physical properties of alkane, which focus on the boiling point. So we're going to look into the effect of molecular weight on the boiling point. We're also going to look into the differences between the straight chain alkane, all right, with the crunch alkane. So we're going to see how the straight alkane will have a different boiling point with the crunch alkane, as well as alkane and cycloalkane's boiling point. Also, we're going to look into the solubility of alkene in water and organic solvent. Last but not least, we're going to describe the combustion of alkene in excess oxygen and in the limited oxygen. So, without any further ado, let us start. So, a uh, boiling point will increase with increasing number of carbon atom. So, carbon atom, uh, with the increasing number of carbon atom, we will increase the molecular weight and the molar mass. So, the longer the carbon chain, we will have a higher boiling point. The shorter, the lower the boiling point. So, with a greater number of carbon, the larger the molecule. Hence, they will have a large surface area in contact between one alkene molecule with another. Hence, we can say that it will create a stronger valuable forces of attraction between one molecule of alkene and another. Hence, more energy is required to break the strong valuable forces, hence higher boiling point. Alright, now we're going to look into the effect of crunching on the boiling point. Alright, so as what you can see here, a straight chain alkene, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in comparison to 1, 2, 3, and 4, this one going to have a higher boiling point. This is because when there is more branch, as what you can see here, when there is more branch, the molecule will become more compact. Semakin padat. Hence, the surface area in contact with another molecule of the compact molecule with another will get lesser. Hence, it causes them to have a weak van der Waal forces. When it has a weak van der Waal forces, less energy is required to break the bond. Hence, has a lower boiling point. Now, we're going to look and compare the boiling point of alkene and cycloalkene. Alright, so the boiling point of cycloalkene, as what you can see here, is around 10 to 15 degrees higher than the corresponding straight chain alkene. So, the cycloalkene must have the word corresponding, means that the number of carbon must be the same. So, here is 4 carbon, and here is 4 carbon. However, for the cyclobutane, which is represented by um, this skeletal structure here, sorry, okay, and butane is like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is cyclobutane, both have 4 carbon. However, the cyclobutane will have higher boiling point. Same goes to cyclopentane, which have higher than the corresponding alkene, which is pentane. 5 carbon and 5 carbon here. So the cyclopentane will have 49, meanwhile pentane will have 36.3. Okay, why does cycloalkene will have a high boiling point? This is because the cyclic molecules are basically closer together. Hence, the ring structure makes them tidier and less wriggly. Maksudnya, masa dekat 3D structure tu, dia adalah lebih teratur. So, they can form um, more strong intermolecular forces between one cyclic molecule with another. However, when it is in the straight chain, it will be really, really messed up because the shapes are kind of distorted and irregular. They tidak consistent seperti cyclic. Jadi, it's very, very difficult to create a stronger intermolecular forces. Hence, that is why you can say that the cyclic molecule will have stronger IMF, hence a higher boiling point. Alright? Now, we're going to look into the solubility of alkane in water. So, we can say that alkene and cycloalkene are totally insoluble in water because the 
CH bond, which is contained in alkane, are basically non-polar. So non-polar molecule cannot dissolve in polar molecule, which is water. And this is because it does not able to form the hydrogen bond with water. So it does not soluble in water. However, it is soluble in organic solvent, especially for a non-polar solvent. Okay, example here are benzene, carbon tetrachloride, and also chloroform. Alright, now we're going to look into the um, properties of alkene, but now focusing on the combustion. Alright, so uh, for combustion, uh, the alkene will react with oxygen in excess in order to produce carbon dioxide and water. So, when there is a combustion of alkene, you will feel a little bit hot because the, there is a certain amount of energy or heat energy is being released to the surrounding. So, alkene or methane here will be reacting in excess oxygen and be combusted in order to produce carbon dioxide and water. So, we will have, uh, we need to balance the equation where we have one carbon here and four hydrogen. And that is why we put two hydrogen here. So that we have one in this side, we'll have one carbon, four hydrogen, one carbon, and four hydrogen. However, this side got four oxygen. Okay? And that is why we have to put two here. So that we have four oxygen. So this needs to be balanced out. Alright? So methane will be combusted under excess oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. At the same time, you can also do that for um, complex alkene molecule, for example, 2 to 4 trimethylpentane, and the same product which is carbon dioxide and water will be produced. So you just need to balance the equation. Alright? Now, just now we're talking about combustion in excess, pembakaran sempurna. But now there is a limited amount of oxygen, so it will produce, it will form an incomplete combustion. So, in limited oxygen, not all the carbon is converted into carbon dioxide. Some of it will form carbon monoxide. Satu sahaja oxygen dia pasal oxygen dia adalah limited, terhad. So. Uh, you have seen in the previous slide that if in excess oxygen, it will form carbon dioxide and water. However, when the oxygen is limited, it will produce carbon monoxide, only one oxygen, and two moles of water. And hence, you have to balance the equation by putting 3 over 2. Okay, and in certain cases, there will be a very limited amount of oxygen. Hence, the oxygen will now be reduced down where it will only produce carbon. Okay, excess CO2, excess oxygen, limited CO, very limited C only. And the product of water is still being maintained. Okay, so carbon in the hydrocarbon is converted to elemental carbon or known as soot. Ataupun jalaga. Alright, so I think that's all for this video. See you again some other time. Bye.